Hey everybody, welcome back to yet another video. So great to have you here. Today, I wanna to show you guys how you can get super sharp, crispy images for your Instagram. Let's go. So I'm super excited because today this is the first tutorial on my channel and it's a super, super simple one and we're gonna show you how you can get those crispy looking images in your Instagram. A few people have reached out to me recently saying that they like the images on my Instagram and how do I get some of them looking so sharp? This is how. We're gonna jump into Lightroom first of all and I've got an image right here which has uh, already been cropped but I'm gonna show you guys. If you come over to the panel on the right, go to the crop tool. You can see I've already straightened this image up so you just get it straight however you want it. Crop into where you want and then you wanna set the aspect ratio to a four by five. That's what Instagram uses. And then you just hit enter. And then this is the important bit. Once you've done all your editing and stuff and you've got the image looking how you want, we go over here to the export button and we go to custom settings. Now this is really important, follow this bit. We go to the file type, it obviously needs to be JPEG. Dimensions, we're gonna choose custom. The long side we want is 1350 pixels. An image on Instagram is 1350 long by 1080 wide. So you wanna ensure that you get that exact resolution so as that when you upload this image to Instagram, it doesn't get cropped or anything like that and compressed and just, yeah, that. <laughs> Go to the quality, you wanna have that as 100%, and then scrolling down here to output sharpening, you wanna set that to screen, and then the maximum amount there is high. Then you go to export, and then you choose the folder where you wanna export it to, and then just hit export, and that's it, done, super simple. Now, this is how I then actually post that to Instagram. You wanna open up your finder and you wanna find out exactly where that photo landed and then you wanna go down to share and you wanna to go to airdrop. And then you wanna airdrop that to your phone. Click done. Once you've done that, go into your Instagram and go to post. So once you've got the image there, you just give it a squeeze, a little pinch, or use the, uh, the button in the left corner just to make sure that that's optimized for the screen. And then click next and go all the way through and just post as you normally would. And that's it, that's the way I post my images. Now, some people do use uh, apps like Later, like schedulers and stuff, and I've never had a problem using those myself. A lot of my images, I actually post like three, four, and five um, on a scheduler, so I don't have to do it every single day. And that's super handy. Sometimes weeks just get busy and you forget sometimes to post and like you wanna stay consistent. But normally what I do is I airdrop them all to my phone and I just post them when I'm ready during the day. So, and that way I found that they don't get compressed by Instagram and they stay looking super sharp. So I hope you guys find that helpful. If you do, drop us a thumbs up below and subscribe if you aren't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Instagram is compressing all my images. I've posted way too many rocket pictures on my Instagram.